Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive JT. It is hot down here in South Texas. I think it's 85 degrees outside, something like that. Feels like 100. I'll put a little uh, screenshot for you weather buffs out there. Here's what we're dealing with right now. So, I thought it would be the perfect day to test out just how cold the air conditioning is inside the Jeep Gladiator. If you take a look out there, you can see it looks steaming just looking out. And it's like 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning, something like that. Uh, pretty darn hot. So, what I've got is one of those, uh, I guess it's like a grill thermometer. You stick it in your meat and find out what the temperature is. This is what it is, and right now you can see it's reading 87 degrees, 88 degrees, 87, 88. Looks like it's fluctuating right here in the garage. And it has this probe on it. And the reason that's important is because I'm going to stick that in the uh, ventilation holes, the air outlets inside the Jeep Gladiator. We're going to see just how cold the air actually comes out in there. Before I do that, I will just lay it down inside just to see what the ambient temperature is, I guess, inside the truck. Okay, before we get going, you can see on the screen right up there, it reads a temperature outside of 88 degrees. So I've got the air conditioner running. Uh, you can probably hear it, I'm sure. I'm going to just go for a quick ride down the road, get everything circulating. We're going to see what the temperature is in here, and then we'll check it at the vents. Right now, according to this, it is 92 degrees inside the truck. And it had been sitting out. We actually just got back there. It dropped a degree. Uh, so we're going to go for that ride, see what we get it to inside with just normal air running. Okay, we've been driving around for about 10 minutes or so, something like that. Just getting the truck all functioning properly, all the fluids running, all that stuff. I've got the thermometer sitting down on the passenger seat beside me. Just kind of picking up the cabin temperature inside the truck, I guess, without being in direct line of the air conditioning. So let's take a look. Right now it's reading 75 degrees, and it was at, there you go, 74. It's actually fluctuating between the two. So I thought it'd be kind of neat. Let's pick it up and just hold the sensor like right in the line of the air conditioning, right where it's blowing on me just for a minute or two. Well, not that long. I'm too impatient. Want to see if it drops at all or not. Um, I'm guessing it's probably not going to, but who knows. We're at about 74 degrees still. Just went to 75. Even in the line of air conditioning, the air that's blowing out. So it looks to be like by the time it comes out of the vent, it's somewhere around the 74, 75 range. Now, we're going to just uh, stick it, the sensor, if you will, into the air conditioning tube like so and see what that gets to it's already dropping we're down to 66 65 4 3 2 1 Let's see if we can get into the 59 check that out 58 57 56 not sure 55 I'm not sure if it's going to go much lower, 53. I've actually, in a uh, Porsche I had a long time ago, it actually got down into the 30s. Uh, so much so that it was almost frosty on the back window. We're down to 53. 52, can we get to the fort? Oh, we're back to 53. Have we reached it? Uh, 52, 51. I'm not sure if we're going to get into the 40s or not. It doesn't look like it. Let's see if it makes any difference if we switch to another vent. Let's go over to the vent over here beside it, see if we get anything less. I kind of doubt it, but I mean, it should be the same, right? We're at 52, 51. Looks to be fairly steady, uh, right around 52 degrees with the probe in the so it looks to me like the air conditioning, it's blowing out at around, there it went up a little bit. It looks like it's blowing out about 52 degrees or so. So now I'm going to go out and go for another drive. I will, I will not play the, uh, the music or the scenery for you. 
guys. I'll just pop back on. I want to see if when we're running the truck, and I'll probably show a few different shots of it, but see if when we're actually accelerating on the gas in the truck, if the air conditioning actually gets a little bit lower. And at the end, I'll, uh, I'll actually throw the probe back there in the back to see what our passengers uh, are getting there in the back. Okay, just taking off from the gas station, uh, we've gotten into the 40s. We're at 45 right now. So I'm going to get on a constant speed, a 55 mile an hour road, and see if it drops even further. Okay, we've been driving at 55 miles an hour, actually a little more. And you can see the temperature actually has gone up a bit. We're at about 53 to 54, somewhere in that range. So strangely, when you're putting uh, stress, I guess, on the vehicle, on the Jeep Gladiator, the air conditioning seems to be a little less efficient. Not exactly sure why. Is it somehow robbing power from the compressor, the air conditioning unit? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. It's even going higher. There we're at 57. I've seen it go up as high as 58, and there's 58. I don't know if it'll go any further. It might. But apparently, the air conditioning when you're driving, there it's dropped, uh, is not quite as strong as it is when you're sitting still. There we're even at 60. Okay, I've got the temperature probe in the back, uh, and I even have the air conditioning vents open on the center console there. There's two of them. So we'll see what that reads. I suspect it's going to be a bit warmer in the back seat. We'll find out. But before I get to that, uh, I wanted to mention, you know, right now is probably not a good time to buy a Jeep Gladiator. Uh, not because there's anything wrong with the Gladiator. You know, there is supposed to be some kind of refresh or something coming. Yeah, I can't imagine they're going to add anything real profound to it. I mean, what can you really do with it? And that's the bad thing about the Jeep Gladiator, the downside for Jeep the company, not us, is that you can't really do much. It's, it's a Jeep. It looks like a Jeep. If you change it too much, the diehard Jeep folks aren't going to like it. They're not going to buy it. You're going to depart from what you are. So all you can really do is add some technical stuff and maybe colors, change a few things, maybe sell one with a lift on it, things like that, which would be nice. Uh, but there's not a whole lot they can do. So from a, a change standpoint, I don't think that really matters. But why it's really bad right now is because of the interest rates. You know, you've heard we're in an inflationary period, right? So the Fed keeps raising the interest rates, which if you have money invested or in the bank, even a money market or savings account, then you know it's great. Uh, I'm loving it. I'm making interest. I can dig it. I say keep raising them. I know that's pretty selfish, isn't it? Of course, you're going to pay more for food and everything else. So in the end, it might be a wash. I don't know. But it's a horrible time. Interest rates are bad. Um, I know they're somewhere between nine, and that's probably if you have really good credit. And I've heard, this can't be right, but I've heard 20%. Now, that's probably the case if you have a really horrible credit rating. I just can't imagine 20%. We're, we're in credit card debt territory, right? 20 to 23, I've heard 25, 27%, which is absurd. Don't run credit card debt. Pay those things off. You're just throwing money away every month. Don't do it. So it really is a bad time unless you've got a good relationship with some kind of a lending company or you're you can find a special out there. Or of course, as always, the best way is to pay cash. That way you're not paying anybody any extra money for the privilege of driving their product or more so financing through a, a bank or a company, you know? There went a Jeep Gladiator, had to do the little Jeep wave, you know? Anyway, let's, uh, we're gonna pull off and I'm gonna grab that sensor from the back. We're gonna take a look and see do backseat passengers really suffer uh, from a lack of air conditioning in the Jeep Gladiator? Okay, we're stopped, we're safe. Let's grab the uh, probe and see. Uh, right now it's at 79 degrees. You guys hopefully can see that, let's see. 78, 79 degrees. So a little bit warmer in the back, although it's not quite as bad as I thought it would be. 
you know, we were in the 70s up here in the front. And the, the good thing is, is we do have the vents in the center console and they do seem to blow out uh, pretty darn well. So the people in the back uh, can get some good air. They do uh, rotate around, go up and down. So if you're riding in the back, you can point those vents uh, however you want to point them to get comfortable. So kudos to Jeep for doing that as opposed to just putting an opening and closing vent. It's really not as bad as I thought. And I think if you have that cool air blowing on you, let's, uh, I'm gonna stick the probe inside one of those. I'm curious to see, real quick, uh, I'm curious to see what the air is blowing out of there. All right, it's actually not too bad. Real quick, if I can get it before it goes up. The air blowing out of those vents was running between 52 and 53 degrees. Wow, the end of this probe feels really nice. Uh, but running between 52 and 53 degrees. So they're not really suffering too bad in the back here in the Jeep Gladiator. Anyway, I just wanted to do a little test, let you guys know, especially it's now 90 outside again. It's supposed to be close to 100, if not a little over today here. It's, it's insane. But anyway, the Gladiator does put out enough to be comfortable. Now I'm sitting here in a sleeveless shirt. Obviously I have the air blowing on my skin, so it feels better. If I was in a, a sleeve shirt or something, then yeah, it probably wouldn't feel quite as good. But right now I am very comfortable. I will say I'm not at the point where I'd wanna turn the air down and it's blowing, you can hear it, I'm sure. Probably almost full blast, so feels pretty good. Anyway, leave a comment, let me know. How's your Jeep Gladiator air conditioner temperature? Does it keep you comfortable or is it a bit lacking? I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay cool out there. Bye.